Hello everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and I am driving the brand new Mitsubishi Triton. No longer is it the Strada. And the variant I'm driving now is the 2024 Mitsubishi Triton GLS 4x2 automatic transmission. This variant costs 1,582,000 which is just the 21,000 pesos different from the manual. Yeah, you can have a manual for this nice Triton. And the beauty of having a GLS model is it comes with 360 camera. So if you don't need a 360 camera, you may opt to go for the GLX variant. But if I were you, I would get the one with the 360 camera. Now, what I want to say is I am liking the drive of this nice, nice, nice vehicle. Although only the top variant will come with rear air vents. It will also come with the 4x4 option and uh, drive modes. You don't have drive modes here in the GLS variant. But driving the previous Strada, you would feel that the car is bouncy, especially when you are stepping on road imperfections. Please contact Sir Adrian here in Mitsubishi Global City. This is a 2.4 liter, six speed automatic transmission with plus and minus modes like a semi manual with a single turbo. But if you go for the higher or the top of the line, you will have a bi turbo, something similar with Ford Ranger bi turbo. Okay, right, I just said it feels a lot heavier and more planted, and you don't feel bouncy. Uh, when you go up the pumps, you can still feel that it's bouncy, but I think it has something to do with cargo. It improves. Because when I was reviewing the car before, I was always alone, right? So it, it doesn't have so much weight. Though. And I think I said it also in that video that if you have more load, the chances are it's not going to be this bouncy. This is already a tried and tested pickup truck, everyone's favorite. It also looks nice. Looking at the front face, not everyone's happy with it. We cannot please everybody. And it also looks different depending on what trim. In some trims, the front grille is matte, like not painted. In some grille, it is painted. So it will really look nice in all black, but you know how much I like it, but it doesn't look safe at night because it's all black. So those who people who have all black Strada or all black Montero looks nice but be careful. Now what do I feel driving this here in BGC? Mm. The steering feel weighted. Yeah, it feels heavy. So I think it adds to the driving feel. Because it feels like a heavy, like a lesser heavy than a Hilux okay this is electronic assisted steering so it's not the same as the hydraulic like you find in the previous cars but what I like about it is it's also easy to drive even for ladies and it is also heavy so you have more control of the vehicle I like the air condition buttons, they are here, digital, and also it has physical buttons, perfect. The 360 camera, very good. It's a lot clearer, clearer than the Nissan counterpart. Now we're gonna drive it, so it doesn't have a drive mode. So we are just gonna try to push it a little. I think the six-speed automatic transmission really is the sweet part of this vehicle because like there's no drag and there's no sound of like you know something like that trying to uh, like take the bite for the car to move this one it has in the low gear at least we're going slow Voila. even though I press the gas still good so this is a great great tuned vehicle after all now the dashboard looks modern it looks quite modern now and I think everyone would love that. And wow, moving object detection then. See, this is Nissan. Eh? 
Itong Nissan to eh Nissan din to eh Oo, oh, Nissan talaga yun eh Ay, walang mirror May mirror, okay Oh, it's leather Feels like plastic but This feels like leather Oi, cheese grater <laughs> Push button The aircon is so good, so good Then night mode See, this is Nissan It's not a chill box Okay, grab handles on both sides This one is new, I like this new style And it's automatic also this is this is Nissan <laughs> speaker handbrake with plus and minus mode wireless charge pad. Oi, airbags are knee. Hello, there's knee airbag. Oh wow. Okay, there are like pros and cons. This one like feels like Navara. Yes. Hi. So. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Braking is also good. How about the humps? Wow. You don't feel bouncy. You feel solid. Wow. Uh, and then the oh front mitigation works so well. There was actually a pedestrian just uh, walking, you know, looking at the phone, just in the middle of the road, but the car was able to realize that there's someone. And you can actually hear the sound audibly and also visually, you can see it. That's nice. When we filled the gas, it was automatic stop. And it gave us 809 kilometers of range on a full tank. And I like the sound of the blinkers. This is a rear wheel drive. Oh, good traction, it's sticky. It doesn't feel like I'm bouncing around even though there are little potholes. Usually you would feel that in the previous generation. Oh. Okay. I will have a longer experience, better experience with the car when I borrow the car from Mitsubishi Philippines. If they lend it to me. But, you know, it's a safe pickup. 360 camera, blind spot warning, front mitigation. Good aircon, good transmission, very practical car, including the sunglass case or eyeglasses case. Easy to drive, looks nice. Make sure to visit Mitsubishi BGC and look for Sir Adrian. And make sure to feel what this vehicle can do. Many things I see are Nissan. So I cannot understand why some people are saying this one derived from the Navara instead of the other way around. But I still believe that this partnership or having in the same umbrella, it benefits. And if the previous Strada was a bit sharp, now this one became a bit more tough. Meaning, before it used to look like a Decepticon, now it looks more of a Autobot. <laughs> so, depends on your taste. You will like it or you will not like it and it will also depend on the trim and also how you will set up the vehicle. You know, this is an off-road worthy vehicle. So, if you have uh, off-roading activities, what do you think? Will this serve its purpose? This is a pickup, but in the Philippines, it is used for like, I know, pang forma, you know, those things. So let me know, do you think this vehicle is, does it serve two purpose? for its uh, pickup nature and also being city driven and being a family vehicle but I think the biggest flaws for this variant is not having rear air vents so I hope that will be addressed and I, I hope that becomes the, the immediate upgrade and I have no more memory I'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true everyone bye bye <laughs>